to work on my chair. Does anyone even remember that I'm working on a chair? I've worked on it for a while because we were on vacation and I like the raw wood on the front part, but the back part, I feel like I need to do something to the wood because I'm gonna let the back part stay exposed. I'll show you what it looks like. And then I cut up all this foam for the chair and then I ended up finding foam in my garage that I had from a previous project. Foam is so expensive too. I wish I would have remembered that I had some. So I like it here in the front, just like maybe even leaving it like that. But see, cover your ears. When I turn it around here, I mean, I guess it's not too bad in the back. I thought about doing this techni technique to it, which is the whitewash and the glaze. And this is what I got to put on the chair. Okay, so let's just take it out. And you guys can help me decide. Hey, Chester. <laughs> All right. Hmm. What do you think? Do the whitewash and glaze or leave it the raw wood with the leather? I've never done leather before. <laughs> I'm nervous. All these little staples that I can't get with the needle nose pliers, I just smash them down with a hammer and you can't even feel them when they go into the wood like that. And I have a few more to pull out. I decided I'm going to do the whitewash and glaze on the chair. Thank you for helping me decide. Well, it's kind of half and half. But after after the gla or after the whitewash, I think the glaze will get down in the like little cracks and staple marks and make it look even more old and rusticy like I want. I just opened my Bondi Boost and they gave me a code with it. The mail person almost scared me to death. I was almost out and Briley always steals mine. I Yesterday, I used the hair oil only in my hair. I, I have naturally like wavy curly hair and I showered, used the hair oil, just like a couple squirts, rubbed it in my hands, scrunched it up, and I didn't put anything else in it. Or I, And I just let it air dry. I haven't even washed my hair today. I mean, other than with sweat. It, intensive spray. I use that too. You can spray it on your spray it on your roots, even when your hair is find which one is the, even when your hair is dry or wet from sweat. The intensive spray and the hair shampoo and conditioner help stimulate hair growth. I don't think my hair has ever been this long. I started using it before Christmas last year. I do need to trim, and then these little hairs up here started all growing back. I love this stuff. I know a lot of you have said. That you love it too. One of you even asked for my code when we were on vacation, so I'm glad that they gave me a new one. And don't forget the mask. This, you put on in place of your conditioner once a week. It smells amazing, and it makes your hair so super soft. I'll put the link here in the swipe up, and here's the code again. I love what it did to my hair. Still like wavy. <laughs> Not really sure how to use this webbing, but I did just watch a YouTube tutorial. So I'm going to start probably right about there and just wham bam with the staples and then wham it, bam it over here and then jute, 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 jute. These people on YouTube act like a bunch of know-it-alls, but they didn't give any chair tutorials for a chair like my chair. Am I supposed to put webbing under the hump springs or not? On the top it is. Richard said I could and he just said to make sure it's taut and it is. It's humped. You guys didn't tell me what to do. I'm gonna go get more shells. Richard also said four to five staples and now I know who's putting all the staples in these chairs that I have to take out when I do these projects. Richard. the chair. If nothing else, it looks cute. It's really scratchy. I'm pretty sure it doesn't even matter that I put this on here. Because when the springs go down, the stuff like loosens. Who told me to do this? Okay, 
Get so it. I went, oh, hi, Kedze. Hi, Chester. Where do you go? Get Where it. do you go? Go get it. Get it. I went back and looked at the video where I took the chair apart, and there was nothing under the springs. But there was lots of layers on top. 